As the nation's largest physician-owned medical malpractice insurer, the doctor's company has an unparalleled understanding of liability claims against obstetric professionals. Our data-driven approach enables us to anticipate emerging trends and deliver innovative patient safety tools to help doctors reduce risk. Our review of 882 obstetrical claims that closed between 2007 and 2014 revealed underlying vulnerabilities in the practice of obstetrics. This study reviewed both maternal and neonatal claims for injuries suffered during pregnancy and the delivery process. The most common patient allegation in these claims was delay in treatment of fetal distress, accounting for 22% of claims. This included physician failure to act when presented with category two or three fetal heart rate tracings predictive of metabolic acidemia. 20% of the claims alleged improper performance of vaginal delivery. Almost half of these cases were brachial plexus injuries due to shoulder dystocia. 17% of the claims alleged improper management of pregnancy, such as failure to test for fetal abnormalities when indicated, failure to recognize complications of pregnancy, and failure to address abnormal findings. These top three allegations account for 59% of the claims. Other allegations included diagnosis-related claims, delay in delivery, improper performance of operative delivery, retained foreign bodies, and improper choice of delivery method. Expert physician reviewers identified the top seven factors that contributed to patient injury. One, selection and management of therapy, such as management of pregnancy, care during labor and delivery, and failure to order medication. Two, patient assessment issues like failure to consider clinical information about mother and neonate, failure to order diagnostic tests, and misinterpretation of FHR strips and diagnostic test results. Three, technical performance, which includes injuries that are known risks and poor technique in shoulder dystocia and operative vaginal delivery cases. Four, communication among providers, such as failure to communicate and failure to review the medical record. Five, patient factors, including non-adherence with treatment plan and follow-up calls or appointments. Six, insufficient or lack of documentation of clinical findings, review of care, and clinical rationale for decisions. Seven, communication between patient and family and provider, including inadequate informed consent for other treatment options, poor rapport, and insufficient follow-up instructions. To view the complete study, please visit www.thedoctors.com forward slash obstetrics study.